Today we're going to talk about hand therapy, since many people don't even know what it is. According to the HTCC website, hand therapy is the art and science of the rehab of the upper limb, including the hand, wrist, elbow, and shoulder girdle. It merges concepts from occupational and physical therapy practice to provide comprehensive evaluation and treatment with a focus on function and activity. Hand therapists provide therapeutic interventions to prevent dysfunction, restore function, and reverse the progression of pathology of the upper limb. This enhances an individual's ability to perform in their functional tasks. Hand therapists use a variety of techniques to evaluate, plan, and treat their patients. By collecting a thorough history and using certain tools to measure range of motion and strength, a hand therapist can determine the physical impairments, the activity limitations, and the participation restrictions of their patients in order to determine how best to help them. Jane is our case study. Jane is 20 years old. She's a college basketball player, and she sustained a wrist fracture. By combining the information obtained in a thorough history with the objective measurements, the therapist was able to identify Jane's impairments, decreased range of motion, strength, pain, and swelling, her activity limitations, her difficulty with writing and typing, driving, lifting and carrying, and her ultimate participation restrictions were the ability to act actively participate as a college student and basketball player. Jane's therapy began with the fabrication of a custom molded wrist splint for protection purposes. Manual treatment included edema control, passive range of motion, joint mobilization, and soft tissue massage. Throughout the therapy, Jane's therapist will carefully select a combination of strength building exercises and functional simulations of various components of tasks that Jane might encounter in her daily routine, with the ultimate goal of getting Jane back to her goal occupations of school and sports. The goal activity depicted in this session is basketball. The therapist begins with a simple ball toss in the air. Then she adjusts the activity to be more challenging by transitioning to throwing the ball against a trampoline. The therapist also utilizes graded simulation activities, such as dribbling a ball and tossing a ball against a wall to simulate taking a foul shot. The hand therapist is constantly reevaluating and altering the patient program based on the patient's response to treatment and the desired functional outcome. After eight weeks of hand therapy, Jane was able to return to her team stronger than ever.